All right, Pisces, let's see. We're going to do a What's the Tea reading. This is going to be for the next 72 hours from when you see this video. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high, you are welcome here into this reading. Let's see what messages we have for the Pisces Collective for the next 72 hours from when they view this reading. What are the messages for Pisces? Okay, so you got screenshots. Getting evidence, proof, and facts. Someone here may be screen, screen, screenshot and some sh All right, trying to get some type of evidence, proof, or facts. About what situation? I don't know. This out real quick, y'all. This could be someone who's holding a grudge. Um, with grudge holder showing itself. This could be someone who has a hurt ego. Okay. Um, that could be getting in the way of a situation. Someone's holding a grudge. You may have bruised someone's ego. There could also be someone here who's impersonating someone or wants to be like you, acts like you, dresses like you, looks like you, and copies you. Uh, someone may be getting some type of proof, evidence, facts about this situation as well. Let's just get single cards to the spirit. What else do you have for Pisces? What is it to you for the Pisces Collective? Next 72 hours. Cyber bully showing itself, looking you up again. Oh my gosh. Oh, boss daddy. You can look you up. Okay. So looking you up, researching you, studying you, and getting info. Somebody is definitely looking some ish up. Okay, trying to get some more info information. For most of you, hopefully this is a boss daddy. Okay, stable, rich business owner, CEO, big dick energy. Hopefully this is someone, you know. Not on some funky business. For others of you, I feel like this is someone on some funky business, but let's see. What else for Pisces? Someone may be moving away from someone who uh someone may be dodging a bullet, someone may be moving away from someone who's a player. Or from someone who's playing games. Okay, there could be a player who's moving, trying to dodge some type of bullets. Flip it, switch it according to whatever situation. So you got karmic friends. Can't fully trust them. Tension, secret competition. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. I believe this came out in like yesterday's reading, I think. I think, I think, I think. Okay, one more. Oh, Cyberbully did come back out. So... Yeah, I don't know if you have people, someone here is being bullied online or has suffered from it. Um, Grow shoulder on the bottom of the deck again. All right, so let's see. Who is this that's screenshotting, getting evidence, proof, and facts, or why? Screenshots, getting evidence, proof, and facts. Why, spirit, why? Who is this? Could be an Aries. Could be a father figure, a boss, CEO. Mm, five of Wands. Oh. Okay, so Five of Wands. This could be someone who's in competition with you, someone who, who's competing with you. This can also be someone who's trying to get some type of evidence, proof, or facts, trying to stir up some drama, or trying to start an argument or a fight. Four of Pentacles, this could be someone who you're holding back from, someone who's holding on to you, possibly. Knight of Cups almost wanted to come out. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Nine of Cups. Knight of Cups, Nine of Cups. Yeah, that's funny. I, I was going to say, this could be someone who's trying to disturb your peace or your happiness. Because with this Nine of Cups, you may be, you know, at peace, you know, happy, you know, having some type of wish fulfillment in your life. So I don't know. Someone's like trying to disturb your peace. Is this someone who's holding on to holding on to you or someone who you're not speaking to or someone you're on a break from? King of Pentacles could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. We got Gemini showing itself as well. Show me who's researching you, studying you. Seven of Cups. Tell me more. Looking you up. 
Ten of Swords. Why? Oh, Pisces. Someone here may be trying to like get some type of info to create an illusion to fudge me. Tower, Scorpio energy. Someone's trying to create an illusion to cause some type of tower, some type of an ending, a betrayal, something sudden here. Could be a sudden ending. Hopefully to an illusion, but one more looking you up. Who did you piss off, Pisces? Who did you piss off? The Hermit? Virgo, maybe? Someone, did you go someone? You go silent on someone? What did you do? Yeah, somebody. Oh, Ace of Wands. Some of you may have decided to like end a situation because there was too much confusion. There was an illusion. Something here wasn't clear. Something. Yeah, something wasn't clear. So I feel like you may have just decided to suddenly end something and go towards something new. Is that you, Bun, sneaking around? It is you. Hey, let's go on my couch. And see you. All right, show me this boss daddy. You pissed someone off, it looks like, Pisces. So someone's trying to look you up, trying to get some type of evidence, proof, or facts, or maybe someone's just, like, stalking you online. Someone could even be trolling somebody here with the cyber bully. Okay, yeah, because you walked away from someone. Queen of Swords cut that person off, like, bye, Felicia. It's because it could be... And I honestly, if you did that, I feel like you had a, a, a reason to, Pisces, because with this Two of Swords, it's like... Something here isn't clear. Like there's lack of communication, poor communication. It's like something here was disrupting your peace. This could be someone who always holds back from you or goes silent on you. But then they hold on to you. This person may feel like, like make you feel like you got to compete or you got to like like, there's something here that draws in some type of conflict. And I feel like you're just tired, Queen of Swords. You're tired of the shit. You're tired. You're tired of the shit. You want someone who's reliable, successful, even more. Boss Daddy. Show me what's up with this boss daddy or boss beach. <laughs> as soon as I say, wow. As soon as I say boss beach, look what comes out. Empress, Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Emperor, Empress in the house. About to do big things. Taurus, Libra in energy. Could be meeting a masculine or a feminine. Okay. Side story. I'm going to clarify, but... I just looked on the bottom of the deck. We got the Seven of Swords, the Hierophant, and then the King of Wands. So I don't know if someone here is lying about being in a commitment. Like this boss daddy may be married to this empress. They could be lying about this commitment or being sneaky or deceptive. All right, let's just do single cards. Sorry, y'all. I was playing with the bunnies before I came on here and I got hair in my nose all over my face and my shirt. Show me this boss daddy. What's up with this person, please? Make it clear. The hermit could be a Virgo. Masculine, possibly. Someone who's very wise. Someone who could be a little bit older. Very knowledgeable. This person may stay to themselves. Show me this boss daddy. The High Priestess. Oh, Pisces. This boss daddy could be you. Uh, you may have Virgo in your chart. This person may be a Pisces. Could be a masculine or feminine. High Priest, High Priestess. This is someone who's very wise, knowledgeable, spiritual, temperance, very peaceful, very balanced. Okay, an angel. Oh, I almost said an angel. <sighs> Someone's name could be Angel. Um, let's just keep going. Boss daddy. 
this is someone who I really, and wow, justice. This is someone who stays to themselves. Um, justice. This person may, this person may work in the legal system or in the justice system. This person could even be an investigator or maybe even just spiritual investigator. This person may be watching you. Anyways, Justice card. This is someone who's very fit. Wow, Ace of Swords. This person is someone who's very fair, honest, truthful, acts with integrity. This could be your justice coming in, Pisces. Could be a Libra. Who will say? Boss Daddy. Oh my gosh. Pisces. You got somebody coming in here. This is a soulmate proposing some type of partnership, something that is equal, something that is fair, something that is balanced. This person, if you are someone who's highly spiritual, this person is too. This person is wise beyond their years. They're very knowledgeable. And okay, they may have Virgo, Pisces, Libra in their chart. Oh, you guys got a soulmate coming in and you got a boss dead is Ace of Swords and Temperance. Wow, your angels is like, <laughs> this is your new start. <laughs> Could be Sag as well. All right, now let's go to these karmic friends. What's up with these little, little shits? Wow, literally, you got, you got three little minions working together. How cute is that? You got three people sitting around. Psst, 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 psst. You know what these girls always remind me of is um I'm not gonna take it was King of Swords it did fall upright so Aquarius Super Gemini in a Swords someone could be in their head because he cut them off because he cut them out um anyways um I was thinking about some but this reminds me I don't know if you guys have seen that video um. Shit. Be jeweled. I think it's Bejeweled by Taylor Swift, where they like have her like cleaning the floors like Cinderella. <laughs> That's what those girls remind me of. For you feminines out there that care, you might want to check out that video and how they're like, <laughs> oh, talk, 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 talk. Anyways, that's what it reminds me of. Okay, karmic friends. Can't fully trust them. Why is it showing up in Pisces reading again? Again. These could be people who, you, again, I think that kind of came on yesterday's reading. I don't really remember. I'd have to watch it. But something about you using your discernment and kind of like detaching from people was pissing people off or something. Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Tell me more about these karmic friends or secret competition. Four of Wands. Did that come out too? Having deja vu. Someone in your family, your home, maybe even your children. Someone could be talking about your children or... This could even be, you know, someone wanting to come in and work together with you because they see that you're someone who's stable. They may see you as like, yeah, the, they may see you as like a financial opportunity or someone who's very reliable. So what's the catch here, Spirit? Give me one more and that's it. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Who is this Queen of Wands? I know I said one more, but 
Two cards I'm not going to take. The Hierophant and the Seven of Swords. Sorry, y'all, I gotta answer this. Be careful not to share any of your ideas or whatever it is that you're working on with anybody because someone could either be trying to take from you, leech off of you, or deceive you in some way. Now when I say that, I almost don't feel... I almost don't feel like that's their, like, true motives or intentions. I feel like it has to do... Like someone may see you as like a prospect or an opportunity for something like someone's looking out for their own betterment of themselves, but in the process, it would be at the expense of you. So if that makes sense, um, like these could be someone who's competing with you, maybe like reaching out for ideas or wanting to work together with you or hey like let's work together let's work on this together let's build this together whatever let's come together oh can i come to your house can i meet you at work or i don't know it's just like someone who's like i don't know i almost feel like their intentions is like maybe somebody's like talking about like oh have you seen you know, so-and-so, they're doing this and they got this going on and they're like, oh, maybe we should try to like hang out with this person or, you know, like da 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 But I don't necessarily feel like, I don't feel like this is someone that's like outright scheming and plotting. I feel like this is someone who's just trying to like get in your business, but eventually this is going to be someone who's at com like competing or something with you. All right, so let's move on. Sorry, y'all. My daughter's with her friends right now, so I have to... She's checking in and asking if they can do stuff. So, cyberbully. So, excuse me for that, but... The Chariot. Cancerian energy showing itself. You could be being bullied by Cancer. Or cancer could be getting bullied. Got Aries showing itself. Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, the Two of Pentacles... The devil and the fool. <sighs> yes, woman. Yes. Oh my gosh. These kids. Okay. So we got Capricorn and Aries energy out here. I don't know, why am I getting, like, somebody juggling between, like, this is, like, you know, starting something new, being fearless, um, taking some type of a risk, uh, like, to free themselves from a situation, to, like, free themselves from something that is toxic and binding. So I have to do a cyberbullying. Can I get a couple more? Cyberbullying, why is this here? Thanks to swords. Maybe what I said was true. I almost feel like someone's battling like their shadow side and their light side. Like, so if somebody's like, this is like somebody who's like up and down, up and down, maybe battling their, like wanting to like 
free themselves from something that is toxic and binding. But then, you know, that devil energy is, I don't know, I feel like it's stronger than the full card energy. Someone here has free will. But they keep going back or they keep going back and forth or dabbling with something that they know is no good for them. This can also be like somebody who... Fuck, that's a real headache, isn't it? You know, with this devil energy, this could be like someone who's obsessed, you know? Uh, or controlling, like maybe watch it. Because I'm seeing all like these Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitters, you know, stuff's on here. So I don't know if someone's like stalking someone online or watching someone online. Maybe even like, and then maybe someone says something. I don't know if they're using fake accounts, but someone may say something that they regret. You know, Ace of Swords say something that they regret or something. Um, and they're like, fuck, why did I say that? Because this person's like holding their hands over their eyes. It's, I almost feel like a sense of like... Just, I don't know, y'all. This is like someone who's like... Uh, it's almost like someone who knows better, like knows better, but then they do shit, yeah, impulsively that they regret. Like, I feel like someone may just say some stupid shit or like, how is this? Cyberbully. This could be a friend. This could be someone who also wants like a new beginning or someone who juggled you and now they're obsessed with having a new beginning or they're obsessed because you're free. You cut this person out. You cut this person off. Queen of Swords. You may have spoken your truth and then released yourself. Three of Swords. Release yourself from heartbreak or, yeah, some of the Swords keep showing up and the Five of Swords and the Empress and... You guys could have someone here that's trying to sabotage your new relationship or sabotage this boss daddy king of pentacles from coming into your life. Could be a Taurus. You got a lot of Taurus energy here with the hair, the hair font, the king of pentacles and the empress and five of swords, seven of swords. You may have someone who's trying to sabotage some type of new beginning. This could be a Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Super Gemini for some who may be feeling heartbroken because someone else has taken a leap of faith or someone juggled somebody with someone and now someone's obsessed. Maybe bullying someone online, bullying the third party. This could even be someone trying to reach out to like cause some type of breakup or heartbreak by speaking some type of truth or bringing awareness. The Queen of Swords is someone who is discerning, you know, she's gonna speak some type of truth, but whatever this truth may be, it may cause a heartbreak, it may cause a breakup. Um, there could be someone juggling an Aries and a Capricorn for some, or someone with those placements in their chart. I don't know what we're talking about, but let me get back to her real quick. You know, there could also be a fire sign or an earth sign or some of fire and earth in their chart that wants to come in and offer you something. They want to offer you a sense of stability. They want to work together with you. They want to work towards some type of stability, union. They want to come in and present themselves as someone who's reliable. Like, I want to work with you. 
But there, this person may have some karmic friends around them. Whoever this person is, this could be you. Shit, I don't know. Maybe you want to work together with someone. Like maybe you want to approach someone. This could even be a twin for some. Possibly not necessarily. Not everybody, you know, is a twin or has a twin. So I feel like this is a soulmate, to be honest. But with this four of wands, okay, someone could be coming in proposing, like wanting some type of marriage, wanting to offer something stable, wanting to work together wanting to take action come in as someone who's reliable you know maybe starting off as friends and then progress towards something like somebody's coming in wanting to present themselves as someone who's reliable willing to do the work but there could be whoever's trying to do this may have karmic friends around them like you know causing some type of gossip or drama and then you have this queen of swords over here who may be speaking their truth I don't know who's freeing themselves from someone, but someone's like, someone may be bullying someone, looking someone up online, you know, looking you up online, uh, getting screenshots, evidence, proof or facts about maybe this person or maybe you or, or whatever. But I do feel like there's someone over here trying to disrupt someone's peace, trying to cause some type of an illusion to cause some type of a, a sudden ending because someone here is going towards a passionate new beginning and whatever this passionate new beginning is, this is a very spiritual union. The, her the hermit, the high priestess, and the two of cups, and the justice card. This is someone's, like, justice. This is a, you know, a partnership. Uh, a very spiritual partnership. Somebody's being guided or being led to, to this situation. There, But there could be people talking about this. And then there could be, like, this queen of swords. Who's some type of a third party. This could be an ex, I guess, with the Queen of Swords and the Devil. Maybe someone who's obsessed. Someone could also be freeing themselves from some type of financial transactional something. Who's holding a grudge? Who's holding a grudge? I mean, for all of you guys, it's going to be different. So I wish I could like be more specific. But if you guys want that, you would have to get a personal reading. Show me this grudge. Judgment. Scorpio energy. And the Knight of Swords. Someone could be... Someone could be upset or a little bit angry that someone's coming in to reconcile with the soulmate connection. Ace of Swords. It's the truth. Someone here regrets possibly, you know... Giving to two, someone may regret walking away from a situation, walking away from a soulmate connection. Someone here may also be angry because someone's walking away and going to reconcile with the soulmate connection. Somebody here has made a choice when it comes to love and they're walking away and they're taking their offer somewhere else. Someone is finding the strength and the courage to come and offer love to this Queen of Cups. Or they feel they have a lot of strong emotions for somebody and they can't get this person out of their head. So someone may not be able to get you out of your head. Out of, hmm. Someone may not be able to get you out of their head. You may not be able to get someone out of your head. But somebody wants to come in. Someone has a lot of strong emotions or strong affection. Maybe for a mother or a queen of cups. Someone who is very nurturing. Or someone's love is, you know, love conquers all. Someone can't stop thinking about something here. They feel like it was a missed opportunity. And they've been waiting. King of Cups to the Queen of Cups. Oh, someone's been wanting to invest, plant new seeds. They may regret missing an opportunity. They're in their head. They feel stuck, trapped, and bound. They're trying to find the strength and the courage to come in and express their emotions. They may have been hiding this for some time. They want to heal a situation. This person's freeing themselves. Nine, nine of Pentacles, three of Cups. This person's um, becoming single from some type of from some type of third party wanting to come in and celebrate have some type of victory and success after closing out a cycle that was extremely burdensome so you buns okay so yeah i'm gonna um i guess i'll get three oracle cards let's do i don't know if this is the right deck no let's not use that Hmm. Oh, let's do some angel answers. Oh, that one caught my eye. All right, Pisces, pick one, two, or three. If you pick, uh, hold on a second. I forgot my password. 
Shit, where's my password? <laughs> All right. All right, pick one, two, or three. For Pisces, I pick group number one. Can we get an answer from the angels for these Pisces? Group number one, romance. Romance is in the air, Pisces. Mm -hmm. All right, group number two, Pisces. We've got, it's up to you, Pisces. It is up to you, my child. All right, and number three. Improving health. Hmm, and you're ready. So, I want to read these ones from the book for you guys. Romance. Romance. I don't think I've ever read the romance card, to be honest with you. Romance number 70. Oh, it's my jam. Okay, romance. It is very important. A very important relationship is about to enter or has recently entered your life. This is the romance you have been waiting for. Like all partnerships, there may be ups and downs, but don't let that deter you or shake your confidence. Have faith that love is coming into your life to stay, Pisces. Wow. Wow. I hope I'm a group number one. I didn't pick a number, though, unfortunately. So it is up to you. Um... Forty-four. Ooh, I like that number. Angel. It is up to you. The end result of a situation you asked is about is okay. The end result of a situation you asked about is entirely in your hands. You can affect the outcome by taking a proactive approach to solving any challenges. Stand in your own power and have confidence that you have what it takes to bring about a happy ending. Who doesn't like a happy ending? <laughs> No, I do. All right. Uh, improving health, number 41. Oh, I almost opened to it. Improving health for group number three. The angels want you to know that the health of the person you asked about is going to improve. You can request the assistance of Archangel Raphael and the guardian angels to speed along the recovery. This card may also be urging you to make a more health healthy full choices in your life. All right, Pisces, so I'm going to leave this reading here. Um, I hope it resonated. If it did, let me know by smashing that thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace, 32-32 on the clock.